What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to Potato Monsters League of Legends Top 5 Plays. In light of the recent announcements to deactivate skin codes, we're unable to follow through with the back-to-back -back low skin shop giveaways, but that doesn't mean we're going to leave our fans with an empty promise. We've decided to pay out of pocket for $100 worth of RP to give away to our lovely fans between this episode and the next one, so be sure to listen through until the very end to hear how to enter. Starting off this episode at our number 5 play, we have Christian Marion on Twisted Fate, but so far in this game, Luck hasn't been on his side. The fight erupts as Blitzcrank rushes in, but TF keeps his distance while poking them down. His W comes back up, and as it cycles towards Gold Card, he moves in, unfortunately missing the combo by a hair, but she goes down anyways, and with his ultimate still up, he looks to teleport. He starts casting it and moves in with a well-timed red card to pick up the instant quadra kill after a beautiful 3-man red card. Landing in at her number 4 spot is Sari97 on Anivia with a great all around play and escape. Flash Frost goes out and lands on 2, followed by huge burst onto Lee Sin to bring him low enough for Ignite to take the kill. Afterwards, they turn their focus to Lulu as Anivia picks up another kill with a huge burst from her QE combo. With enemy reinforcements coming in from Baron, they place a ward over the wall, but then all of a sudden Anivia sees an opportunity and flashes to give Caitlyn, but now she's in trouble. The enemy team finish her off, but her passive triggers at the same time she takes the lantern, flying her out of harm's way and back to her team. The enemy team rushes towards Anivia, but end up not being able to get even a single kill out of this play as Anivia and her team disengage and escape. For number 3 play, we have Mr. Green Electriz on Rengar, who sure as hell gives Amumu something to cry about in this play. Right off the bat, we see the enemy Amumu ultimate in place, but with no cooldowns up, Riven doesn't follow up, and then Rengar jumps in, getting 5 stacks and using his W and Flash to get back to the brush. Between Ignite, Brush Jumping, and a great bolus strike, Rengar secures the kill on Riven, but he's still one mummy combo away from dead. He wards the brush and proceeds to outplay Amumu with fantastic use of Rengar's passive, dodging bandage toss while kiting around to buy time for his skills to come off cooldown. After making Amumu dizzy, he flashes away but gets hunted down by a 10th leap strike from Unseen Predator within the last 30 seconds. <laughs> Coming in at second place, we have Akuma, Tatsuo, and Gragas with a few beastly moves to outplay the enemy team. Being outnumbered and surrounded by red team, Brom sacrifices himself to help them escape and then Diana engages from over the wall and Gragas goes into peel mode. Using Iceborne and Body Slam, he locks up Diana and then they burst her down with the help of Rengar. Afterwards, he lands his Q and R on Blitzcrank for the insta-kill. He then goes man mode and charges in, whopping Riven with his W for the double and then he flashes out while killing Thresh. Vi queues in, but a perfect Zhonya's negates the damage, and since Vi has no mana left, Gragas is able to survive the auto attack and turn things around with his combo and a small kite back for the quadra kill. And for number one pro play for this week, we have Night Limit X on Riven with an amazing turnaround play near Baron. With Yasuo chasing her, she decides to turn with her ultimate, getting the knockup stun and ult to burst him down almost instantly. Out of nowhere, Rangar jumps onto Riven, forcing her to flash away, and then Lee Sin helps her disengage, but unfortunately gets locked up by Shen's taunt. He W's out as she goes in with a massive shield, landing a beautiful triple knockup as the friendly Yasuo comes flying in to turn this play into a 4 for nothing exchange. Let's check out that sick turnaround play one last time before moving on to the bonus clip and RP card giveaway. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have Shivargo and Tristana who gets fed up with having an assassin in her face, so she decides to move her to mid lane instead. As this plays on, I'm gonna go over how you can quickly enter yourself in an RP card giveaway paid out of pocket by us. With the discontinuation of our partnership with lolskinshop.com, we've decided to buy $100 in RP to give away between this episode and the next one instead of the skins we promised originally. We will pick 5 winners from the comment section of this video and each will win $10 in RP, adding up to 50 bucks. The winner will be announced at the end of week 182. We plan on doing the same exact thing for week 182, so if you don't win from this video, be sure to try your chances again when the next episode rolls around. All you have to do is drop a comment down below with what your favorite play was from this episode and why. Also be sure to let us know what region you're from. And then this part is optional, but feel free to also show us some love and encourage us to do more of these out-of-pocket giveaways by liking, subscribing, and sharing this however you can. Thanks everyone for your support, we love you all, and good luck to those who comment down below. See you next time.